Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new, thank you so so much for being here. I'm feeling a little bit, probably stressed is probably the word that I would use at the moment. I had a bit of an off day yesterday. I have been planning backing cards and stationery, bookmarks, all of which need to be ordered today really because it is now nine days until the shop update. Um, <laughs> This month is just going so quickly, but yesterday I, I just gave myself a little bit too much information and I didn't give myself a way to kind of use it. I had multiple print companies up on the computer. I had been sitting making designs and some of them I wasn't very happy with. So it was a little like back and forth and working out who I wanted to order from. Is there anyone that I could maybe order double or like two of the items from to save on the shipping cost but then also I've got print companies that I have used regularly and haven't disappointed me yet so I don't know I was just having a bit of an off day yesterday but my husband sat down with me and basically got me to write it all down we talked through it and I'm feeling a bit better today so I think I know what I'm doing I know who I'm going to be ordering from I think and I think I know the designs that I want to do so I've got a little bit of kind of final design prep to do today and then I'm going to get everything ordered. That is my plan. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to be honest there because I think sometimes when working towards a shop update, it all seems very kind of, oh, it's amazing. I'm bringing in a new product. And yes, it is that, but also there is so much work that goes on behind the scenes and trial and errors and like the fear of using someone or manufacturer that might ruin things or I don't know it, there's just so much to think about and I really felt that yesterday and I think it's because the shop update is creeping up on me so quickly so yeah I'm a little bit brain tired today but I'm gonna carry on and get going I did design and again this isn't the best print ever because I did it on like a standard print the backing card for the new pin that's coming um I don't know why it's so washed out on camera it looks looks very kind of white on camera I don't know if it's because I've got a huge soft box behind me. there you go that looks a bit better this should be more vibrant when I get it printed but this is the backing card design for the pin so it's like hills and trees with a little hair balloon here I love it I think it looks so so cute and I've also designed a notepad that kind of goes along with this design like a peel off notepad so I need to kind of sort out the files for that on Photoshop I'm also planning on ordering the chocolate frog design if you have been following the 28 days of sunshine you would have seen the chocolate frog and I have two more that I'd like I might just pick one and go with one of them um, so it's essentially between Chocolate Frog, Seaside and The Dinosaur, but I'm going to check my funds and see if I am able to maybe order all of them, <laughs> but just lower quantities. I had planned on ordering A7 mini ones, but the website that I was going to use, which is Instant Print, they're very new product and I love Banana Print for their notepad quality, but they don't do the A7 like smaller memo pad size. So I've decided to scrap that because it's just too much. The system was like slightly different because their new products I would have had to wait for approval from the company rather than approving it myself. So that kind of extends the process out a little bit. But today I'm gonna to be starting with the to-do list. I haven't written a to-do list in a little while. So I'm gonna sit and write this. Just get it all out because that will help a lot when it comes to my brain. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna write down what I need to design, what I need to order, and once that's done, I should be feeling a lot better. I also have so many new stickers coming to the shop, which I should probably order new sticker paper for today, because I have a feeling I'm gonna run out. I'm, I'm doing my best. The shop update is still coming on the 31st of March, so if you wanna see the 50 odd products that are coming, <laughs> keep watching, keep following, all that jazz um i should probably also if everything's arrived by the end of the week maybe i should share it all or maybe that could be next week's vlog again too much on my brain but i'm gonna i'm gonna carry on now
I have done and ordered three different notepad designs, which is really exciting. I was originally going to go two, but I've now got three, <laughs> which is, <clears throat> excuse me, very exciting. I'm going to turn around and show you them. Of course I am. So this is the first design. We've got the little chocolate frog just on a nice kind of green border. I think it looks really, really nice. We've also got the head in the clouds notepad, which I think is so, so cute. And again, it kind of goes with the lighting is terrible, but it kind of goes with this backing card. I'm very happy about it. It's almost like it's started here, like the balloon, and then it's getting even higher. <laughs> so that's really sweet. And then we've also got, because I know people love this dino, we've got dino on a notepad with a yellow border. That's really exciting. We've also got bookmarks coming, which I just thought I should probably show you as well. I have sent them off for like approval because it's my first time ordering from printed.com. So I just wanna check that it's good before I order them, then it all goes wrong. So that's what I've just done. So I'm just waiting for a reply from them. Hopefully that won't be too long. The latest I should be able to order them is tomorrow, hopefully, because they replied really quickly yesterday or the day before whenever it was i emailed them about something else <laughs> i've just yeah i think i was just in a stress like i said i was on different websites and i was like live chatting everyone at the same time which is so stupid of me but let me show you the bookmarks that are coming so this is like a compressed file so i can just scroll through all of them quite easily but we've got the bears hugging which I don't know if it's my favourite of them all, but I feel like actually seeing it in person, it's going to be much, much cuter. And then the backs all look like this. We've got Dino, Milkshake, and I've added sprinkles everywhere, which I think looks so cute. And also Teddy Bear, and I've just added some more of the flowers that I put around here. I've just kind of added them up. And the same with the Dino. I put some, like a couple more music notes just to fill up the empty space. I'm definitely feeling much less stressed <laughs> now that I've got a huge chunk ordered and once I've ordered these, that's it. I don't need to order anything else. I just need to sit and make loads of stickers, loads and loads of stickers. I've got to do all the photography and do all of the Etsy listings. The Etsy listings is going to take me the longest. What I might do is I might make the stickers for the photos, get loads of stickers photographed and why is my camera not focusing on me once i've got these bookmarks ordered there's no point just sitting around waiting for them i might as well photograph all of the stuff that i have that i can photograph i have got to do the backing cards for the key rings but i'm going to keep it really really simple for these because they're not for a specific reason most of this collection is just cuteness and things that i've designed without a meaning behind it obviously i have the head in the clouds collection what am i trying to say like normally when i create something i have like a meaning behind the illustration and i've kind of stepped back from that a little bit for this collection because it was just a creative challenge that has made so many amazing products and i want to do a bit more of that i want to have more just creative fun i just want everything that i make to bring people joy some with specific reason and some just because it makes someone happy when they look at it i think i was a bit kind of strict on myself for a while because most of the products i created and still obviously want to create they have that kind of mental health kind of encouragement motivation meaning behind them and it felt weird not doing that for this so obviously the dino for example the dino is just a dino listening to music and there's no meaning there, but it's so darn cute. <laughs> and it just makes me happy, it makes other people happy. I just want my products to make people happy. And I need to stop being so harsh on myself with having like a specific reason behind the thing. So yeah, it's been quite fun just creating and having less pressure on the products. This was designed prior to the challenge. It just happened and now we have a sticker, a pin, a print and a piece of stationery with this collection but the rest is all just a bit of fun i feel like i've said the same thing over and over my plan is to get one of each sticker made like just make some uh cricket files that make one of each sticker so that i don't need to sit and make 28 files before i can photograph so that way i've got at least one that i can photograph get that done and then once those are out of the way and ready to go i can then sit and make the stickers that should ease the stress a little bit i just want everything to be done before my birthday. So I'm launching all this on my birthday, but I don't want to be running around on my birthday having to do stuff that I haven't had time for. I'm blabbing on. I don't even know what I've said over the last three minutes, but I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm doing my best.
I feel a little bit silly because a couple of days ago I realised that I'd completely missed out some footage on last week's studio vlog sharing some lovely goodies that were so kindly sent to me so I have messaged them and apologised because I'm not sure I've ever done that or maybe I have and I haven't realised but I like I saw the things on my desk and I was like wait did I put that in the vlog? Because I don't remember editing it. Turns out I didn't, so I'm so sorry, but I have the goodies here and I'm gonna share them with you. So this is from the lovely Wendy and Sharon at WS Crafts Creations. They took part in my 28 Days of Sunshine challenge and really wanted to send some of the, the things that they created, which is so lovely because I like have some entries of designs that people have done and it just feels really really special so firstly there was this lovely thank you card and there is a code here so it says they would like to offer 15% off using the code adele15 so i'll pop that on screen and i believe that's off everything on their shop again links will be down below they so kindly sent me a huge pile of greetings cards for different occasions there's lots of birthday ones in here i love this one says whoopee it's your birthday <laughs> with a whoopee cushion let's have a look through here so we've just got some like simple happy birthday ones the reflections quite bad because of the soft box oh no some really really lovely designs here there's a couple of grief designs in here so these were all just like related to the prompts that i did um this is my favourite one because I love hedgehogs. <laughs> Sending you a hedgehog on your birthday. There's just so many lovely designs here. And this isn't even all of them. So please head over and have a look at their Instagram. They did share all of the creations they did on there every day. What's this one say? A little sunshine to make you smile and brighten your day. <laughs> These are just so, so lovely. So thank you so much for sending those. And also, we have this notepad which was made for me which is so lovely um i think it said on the note the notepads will be available soon but we wanted to create you a special yellow version the pad will be available in pink and lilac to start with um but i have a yellow one which is so kind so this is the notepad we've got so many sheets here there's probably around 50 or so here maybe even more to be honest it says let's do this today's main focus morning afternoon evening and then a notes as well so this is really really lovely thank you so so much also a quick thank you to lanita and ying for your orders i just packed them up as you would have seen thank you so much i i'm just so grateful <laughs> and now i'm going to turn you around and unbox some goodies with you because this is from the lovely katie from Ello Mello studios katie is just so lovely and i ordered a sticker and katie had also wanted to send me very kindly again i think the spring bundle that's releasing very very soon so if you love pastel and flowers pretty things you're gonna love this so let me show you i don't even know what's in it yet but i just know it's gonna be beautiful <laughs> Right, let's have a little look in here. Oh, there's a lovely note here. Thank you so much for agreeing to test out my first ever monthly bundle box. This is April's box and the theme is pastel springtime. I'm so excited to share the first box with you. And if you want to, feel free to share on social media and YouTube. I want you to know I don't expect this and I'm mainly looking for your feedback. But if you do share, I've created a discount code, Adele, um, which again I'll put on screen, which will get 10% off the box. The box is £20 plus postage and on sale through my shop, lomellostudio.etsy.com. Again, I'll put links down below. I'm going to show you what's inside now. So this is actually what I ordered. This is the business card and there is a QR code on the back. So I'm going to pop that on the screen because I wonder if you can actually scan that you might be able to if not again the links will be down below but there is the qr code if you'd like to have a little look so this is the little stickers let me get this open oh my gosh wait they're all hedgehogs oh my goodness which one did i order i think i ordered this one because it had a sunflower on it this one this one it's just so many beautiful hedgehogs look at them oh my goodness how stunning is that and they're all on lovely glossy paper as you can see 
Then this is the bundle that was really kindly sent to me. Let's have a little look. So we've got a little scan below to download your wallpaper. I am so excited to see what's in here. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh. Okay, let's have a look in here first because I'm excited to see what's in here. Oh, that is beautiful. Look how stunning that is. It's like um, a clay hanging decoration. That is totally going up on my wall, but wow. Oh my gosh, I just noticed the bookmark has my name on it. Oh, look. That is beautiful. There are so many goodies in here. I thought I'd just change up the angle a little bit and show you like this because I feel like you just can't see my face <laughs> when opening these because they're just so pretty. Um, what's in here? More stickers. Oh, and a magnet too. A flower magnet and a beautiful selection of like pastel flower stickers. Katie, this box is beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, we've got a sticker sheet, which again, is stunning and the cricket has cut this amazingly greetings cards we've got a happy birthday and also a just a note to say a notepad this one is 40 my camera fell 48 lined pages look at that oh my gosh yeah, lined inside. I can't describe how beautiful this box is. Oh, wait, what is this? These are page tabs. You like stick these on and then you fold it over and you'll have like a little tab that you can write on and put like in your notebook or in, I don't know if you journal or anything like that. You can add these tabs. So we've got what five different ones. Thank you so much, Katie. Links will be below. Please check them out, beautiful. Both shops, beautiful. <laughs> Okay, I'm just waiting for the printer to print the second page because I've managed to fit every single design that's coming onto just two pages of vinyl, which is what I was trying to explain earlier. So essentially I'm printing out one of each design so that I can take photos and things. And then once that's done, I can then actually make the files because I don't know what's gonna be most popular. I'm sorry if you can hear the printer by the way, I know it's probably quite loud, but this way I'm not gonna waste this paper because it's not the cheapest paper in the world and it just, should save me time because once these are cut i can go straight onto photography and get the listings done and things so i think that's probably the best option time wise and to reduce the stress but these have printed so so nicely i'm not sure how well you can see on the camera but they've printed so nicely i'm really really happy with it so we've got three six nine twelve on this page and then i think 14 I think I managed to fit on the other page. It took me a long time to kind of go around it. There it is. It's just printed This is the other page of Stickers so three six nine Twelve I did I um, took me a good 20 minutes to fit them all on here But it just means that I've saved that paper and I can just print two pages of stickers Yeah, and get the photos done. The only the only one that's kind of printed a bit funny is that one printer's been a little bit questionable but it should be okay to get the photos done yeah this first page is good the second page isn't as good so i'm just gonna have to do a couple of clean settings i think and just make it right but in regards to take photos this should be this should be good oh that one isn't so good either and it's printed that bit wonky so that's a bit strange maybe we'll do that second page again i'm gonna get this done maybe in a bit maybe tomorrow i'm not 100 percent sure yet but these are ready to go as soon as I'm ready. <laughs> It took 
me a little bit longer than expected but I decided that I would sit down and cut out all of the stickers. I had to faff with the printer for a bit, in fact my husband actually fixed it for me because it kept leaving like a streak on a certain part of the page which affected the what's the line called like the center line on the Cricut and obviously ruined some of the images so I do have a couple of sheets that I'll probably just cut out and put as seconds um, or like just pop them as freebies into orders but these ones are all good ready to be photographed so every single 28 days of sunshine sticker or design is now <laughs> available as a sticker there are so so many designs here I think there's 26 Oh, that's a lie then. Not all of them. All but two are stickers because a couple of them didn't make sense to put as stickers. But that's a lot of Esti, Esti? Etsy <laughs> listings to be doing. Um, but tomorrow is the start of photography. I should also be receiving the notepads tomorrow or maybe Friday. I'm not 100% sure, but I got a dispatch notification and a DVD. We're expecting your parcel thing. So I should hopefully have that tomorrow. <laughs> which is really exciting considering i only ordered them a couple of days ago um and then for those of you questioning why i did it this way i didn't explain earlier but i'd written down the dimensions for all of the stickers so that when i create the sheets with just one design on i know what sizes they are <laughs> i just needed one of each for the photos because it just makes it saves just so much time doing it that way and also it means that i don't waste the vinyl and the launch will help me understand what the most popular designs are because there probably will be a couple that i won't sell any of that's just the real reality but i wanted to offer all of them because sometimes when you have a favorite it's not always a favorite in the shop and sometimes it's the ones that you're like mm, i don't know about that that do the best so i thought if i just pop them all on i know it's a lot of work but i can understand what people want and i'm not kind of limiting people getting what they want um because i could go right i don't like the teapot but i'm gonna put the little raccoon in his jumper i was like oh don't worry about the teapot but maybe people love the teapot and i'm just assuming they'll love this now i'm sure people will love this but they might also love this too that that's my reasoning i hope it kind of makes sense now that i've actually done it <laughs> I feel like when I t spoke about it yesterday it didn't was it yesterday or was it this morning I don't know whenever I spoke about it I was like is this even making sense tomorrow is photography day hopefully new products arriving day next week I should have a coloring book and acrylic keychains arriving I really really hope so but I'm going to try and do as much photography as I can for the rest of this week and editing as I can and at least get started on the listings because the launch is like eight days away now which isn't very long and I've decided I'm going to launch everything at 12 p.m so like right near the beginning of my birthday rather than worrying about it all day I just thought get out for 12 done <laughs> anyway I'm blabbing on again I will chat to you tomorrow now so I'm aware I look a little bit crazy but <laughs> we have some packages <laughs> I can't believe they're here this quickly. This is, I believe, bookmarks and stationery that we ordered at the beginning of this video. So let's get them open. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at these. Oh my gosh. Let me get them unpacked so that you can see them properly. bear hug and they're both double sided oh that yellow is printed so nicely we've got the dino milkshake <laughs> how cute and also teddy bear which i think might be my favorite how nice are they these are from printed.com if you're interested they're so lovely <laughs> right let's hope this next package is just as as good oh my gosh <laughs> let's put you where you can actually see so we've got this 
box of business cards. Oh, how cute is that? <laughs> That's going to look so nice with a pin on it. Should we pop one through? The lighting isn't the best here, which is kind of annoying, but you get the idea. <laughs> okay, so we've got Froggy. Ta-da! <laughs> How cute! The head in the clouds design, which has printed so nicely. And there are 50 sheets in each of these. So, so nice. And then the final design, which is tucked down here, is Dino. Look how cute this is. I think the only thing I would have done differently was make the yellow border just a tiny bit thicker. So three different notepad designs, four bookmarks. I'm so excited. I'm honestly so obsessed. I was so nervous that it was all going to come like wrong but it looks so good I am I'm just so happy with it this is all coming again I know I keep saying 31st of March at 12 p.m um so midday I was going to do my normal like 6 7 p.m but it is my birthday and I feel like I don't want the anxiety of a shop launch all day like I don't know what my plans are yet but if I'd like to go out and do something I want to enjoy it <laughs> not all worry that I've done something wrong so yeah 12 p.m very very excited just finished photographing the mini prints so there's 13 of those coming I try my best every time I do photography to like up my game a little bit and I think the photos of the prints look good I do really like the way that I take photos of stickers and things so I'm probably going to keep that pretty much the same but I'm actually I'm gonna take my hair out in about an hour and I'm probably just gonna go and chill before I go I'm gonna go and get my hair cut I haven't had my hair cut in probably a year this is so long Ta -da. <laughs> And I'm thinking of getting maybe like this much cut off. So maybe bring it up to here again, which is a bit scary, but it needs doing. My fringe also needs cutting. So I'm going to do one of those little transitions because the next time I speak to you, I will have different hair. I'm not sure. What Should I do a click? Let's do a click. Ta-da! It is a lot shorter, as you can see, but... I think it looks so good. I'm so happy to have like fresh hair and to be feeling a little bit more myself again. It's weird having like a short fringe. I haven't had a short fringe in a while. And I got some long layers put in, which I haven't had done in probably a good few years. So yeah, this is my new hair. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just nice to be a little bit more fresh. And things. I'm gonna get on with some more photography now and I'll check back with you in a bit. So I'm needing to take fairly regular breaks from the photography. I think the lights are just quite hot and because I'm in front of them, it gets overwhelming quite quickly. But I've now done all the prints and I've done a good handful of the stickers. I'm gonna have a little bit of break, come back, do a few more, and then work out how I'm gonna be photographing the stationery because I haven't photographed stationery in a while. And I feel like I could do better than what I've done before. When this vlog goes out, there will be four days until the launch. I will share everything on next week's vlog, I think, because I haven't got everything with me at the moment. Of course, you've seen what I've already got um, in this vlog, but next week I should have a colouring book arrive as well as a, hopefully, some key rings, acrylic keychains. 
keychains keychains yeah the rest of the week i'm not gonna have loads to be showing you because i am just gonna be photographing editing and making listings probably over the weekend and things so just want to get as much done as i can before the last couple of products arrive i just want it to be chilled <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're excited for the launch. If you've made it this far, please let me know in the comments what your favourite product is of this launch. I am very intrigued to know what your favourite item is going to be. But I'm going to call that the end of the studio vlog. Thank you so, so much for watching. I wish you the loveliest day and I will speak to you next week. Bye.